Welcome back to episode 9 of Bachelor Mondays with your Steinbach Pistons. I am your host, as always, the one and only Easton Bennett, humble brag. We're here with the, I uh, can't remember what leg we gave you last episode, but we're here with Tanner Mole, always starting off the show. It's great to have you. You know, we only got a couple more times here. You know, the season's almost over, and it's going to be sad once you're gone, Tanner, but... You know, I think uh, I think the viewers will get through it, but uh, let's let's jump into the let's jump into the episode now. First uh, first date, Tasha, she gets the first fantasy suite, um, pretty boring throughout, and then you know they end up not hooking up, which is pretty awesome for us <laughs> viewers. Um, <laughs> what are you thinking about that uh, that fantasy suite with Tasha? I. Uh... You know, they really got to connect a little bit. They uh, found out a little bit about each other. Colton kind of had a little humble break himself. He's like, yeah, I've pretty much done any, everything else. Referring to all the sexual acts he's done. Just a fiend in bed. Apparently, except, you know, he hasn't... It's whatever. I'm not going to mention it because he mentions it every couple of minutes on the episodes. And I, I'm going to put myself above him. That's good. Thank you. Uh... But, yeah, you kind of said there wasn't much to the date. They kind of connected a little bit, but other than that, it didn't show a whole lot. Okay, we are back here with Tyson McConnell. Before we get started with the questions, I got a little prelude question for you, Colonel. Um, little face injury uh, recently? Uh, no. Here, I'll, I'll move the mic down a little bit, so. No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, if the viewers, if you guys can't tell, Colonel, uh, he did lose half of his front tooth unfortunately it's a rough game but now he's in me and tanner's lifestyle with the uh part missing tooth so are you excited for that life yeah you should see the other guy though i think it went relatively well if that was like your fifth or sixth date but <laughs> like colton's supposed to be weeks away from propo proposing so i don't think they're really there yet i think that was very evident in the date they have a decent connection, but it's just not meant to be. Uh, you know, it was just kind of the normal. You, you can kind of tell that she's on the outside looking in, so it was just basically the third third wheel kind of sort of thing. She was just kind of there and had to do the date and get it over with, and that was kind of the way it all played out. Yeah, I don't. they didn't really do a lot. They just kind of went around town and explored... Uh, the countryside and whatever together and came back and nobody really knew if they were going to sleep together or not got the the little note there from chris harrison if they wanted to sleep in a room together and i guess they slept in the same room colt and i slept on the floor i don't know but uh they definitely did, nothing happened there so okay leading up to the second fantasy suite and date it was with cassie obviously a favorite in the house here for the pistons Beginning of the date, they're in Portugal. They're sitting on a ledge, and Colton kind of says, "Hey, Cassie, uh, your dad didn't give me his blessing." Uh, she absolutely looks like she just like got a trank dart in the neck, uh, and then she just she's baffled that her dad didn't give him the blessing. What do you got to say about that whole uh, experience there for them? Well, I mean, she has to do what she has to do, but her dad obviously is a pretty big part of her life, and she respects what he has to say, so. Him not giving her her blessing is obviously very important to her. I think that played a big role in the way that she feels. Cassie's dad ended up not giving the blessing to Colton. She was absolutely just speechless. Um, what do you got to say about that? I think that made Cassie realize that she's not ready for marriage. Her dad not giving Colton the blessing. Um, you know, she wants to be able to make her own decisions, and she can, but just seeing that other people have their doubts, I think has made her realize she has her own doubts, and obviously she is not ready for marriage. Uh, my word probably wouldn't have been starstruck, because that doesn't really describe it in my eyes. I think she was more, you said heartbroken, but also just kind of shell-shocked a little bit. She just thought her dad was kind of more hip and more cool. Yep than what he was showing, but he, he was in business and he made his way up to Portugal and he showed up and I'll get to that after, but I was just, I didn't have too many emotions running through me at that point. I was kind of hoping that would be the end of it for those two, but. Yeah, she's definitely caught off guard by that and I think uh, she might've definitely thought that 
Colton got the blessing and I think the whole family thing messed her up a little bit and uh, got her thinking about uh, maybe questioning herself and uh, if she was ready or not and um, I guess Colton's, uh, Colton uh, obviously loves her a lot and uh, she, she doesn't really express that back so um, yeah but I guess Cassie's dad has has business in Portugal he's man rocket so probably got business all over the world and stopped in to say hi to Cassie and um, I think that really uh, like cleared her mind and uh, she made her decision going into the to the uh, date with Colton very disappointing as a bachelor fan to see that was disappointing because I have no clue where the show is going to go after that I think there's only two reasonable options and that's he proposes to Cassie and she either accepts it or she doesn't I don't know where else they can go for it to even make sense so it was uh, very disappointing to see because they kind of ruined the whole show I think what were you thinking of Colton just getting lost with the locals and going to the Portuguese countryside well I don't really know yet because I haven't seen the next episode of uh, if he actually makes it out of the mountains or not so um, I hope he makes it down from the mountain and uh, the monks don't abuse him too much and he gets back down to safety and uh, continues his journey with Cassie. He had love in his eyes and just kept going and going and going and going and going and she was trying to get out of there and then she was outside and then he brought her back inside. <laughs> Well, okay, so obviously the viewers, I don't know if they watch this or not, but she ends up leaving. She's balling in the car. And then Colton, you know, the inevitable fence jump we've oh. all been waiting for, he uh, he just goes Olympic athlete, hops the fence, gone into the Portuguese uh, countryside, and gone gone like the wind. And then we, we don't know what's happening next. What do you think is going to happen next? You, you, you just don't know. He, he may have... Ran somewhere, ran to a bar, had a few drinks to forget about things. I don't know. He may have ran after the car like a love struck man in his 20s would. <laughs> Sounds typical to me, but... Okay, so I got a quick question for you. Last week, you had one of the hottest takes in Bachelor, in bachelor history or memory that I can even recall. You said that Colton's going to end up with Cassie's sister, Michelle. Are you still sticking by that, or are you seeing a different future coming here? You know what, I think I am still going to stick with that. You know, something crazy is going to have to happen for anything to make sense here. So anything's possible. And I think you never really know. And Cassie's dad showed up last week. So you never know. Michelle might show up this week and good things could happen. Anything you want to say uh, anyone, think you want to say to the fans or any sponsors you want to shout out? Now you always give a shout out to the sponsors. Yeah, got a new sponsor reached out this week. Uh... Got the old uh, deli sink here. Five Alive comes in uh, peach citrus and uh, mango flavor. Try them both out. Um, great juice uh, for supper, breakfast, lunch, any time of the day, night, before bed. <laughs> All right, Kurt, thanks again. I appreciate it, and we're excited to have you on for the uh, final episode next week. So thanks for coming on. Thank you. So going into tonight's episode, last question for you. Um, we got tonight and tomorrow night. How do you think this season is going to unfold? You kind of touched on it there, but what do you think the ending is for this season? I think Colton's going to impregnate Chris Harrison. That's a hot take. We're leaving that in the episode. Uh, Deck, excited to have you on next week. Um, it's going to be the final episode. It's kind of uh, it's kind of nostalgic. It's gonna, but, uh, you know... It's been a good run, so we'll talk more about this next week. But, Deck, thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Make it a good one. Make what a good one? The last one. We'll make it a good one. Okay, yes, we'll make it a very good one. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you, uh, I guess, I don't know when it'll be out next week. But uh, we'll see you next week, and thanks for tuning in. Peace out from the Pistons.